Imagine a world where dinosaurs ruled the land and colossal predators lurked beneath the surface of ancient rivers and swamps. Deinopsuchus was no ordinary crocodile. It was a colossal apex predator, a river monster that could give even the mightiest dinosaurs a run for their money. From its bone-crushing jaws to its towering presence, Deinopsuchus was a true titan of the ancient world. It was an absolute behemoth of the ancient waterways. This prehistoric giant crocodile is estimated to have reached lengths of up to 33 to 39 feet and possibly even larger in some cases. Some experts believe that the largest individuals could have rivaled the size of the largest modern crocodiles like the saltwater crocodile. This immense size gave this dinosaur a significant advantage as a top predator in its ecosystem. Its massive bulk and powerful physique allowed it to hunt large prey and it would have been a formidable presence in the rivers and coastal regions where it lived. Dino such as had a skull that was not only massive, but also uniquely designed for its predatory lifestyle. Its skull could measure over five feet in length in some cases. The skull was broad and flat, featuring a wide, blunt snout. This shape allowed it to deliver powerful bites to crush the bones of its prey. The dentition of Dino such as was equally impressive. Its teeth were conical, robust and serrated, resembling those of modern crocodiles but on a much larger scale. These serrated teeth were ideal for gripping and tearing into the flesh of its prey. It had an impressive bite force, which would have been crucial for taking down large dinosaurs and other massive animals. This dinosaur had four sturdy, well-developed limbs with webbed toes. Its limbs were adapted for both aquatic and terrestrial locomotion. While it spent much of its life in the water, Deinosuchus could venture onto land similar to modern crocodiles, and it may have used its limbs for support and mobility when navigating the banks of rivers and lakes. One of the remarkable adaptations of Deinosuchus was its ability to thrive in both freshwater and brackish coastal environments. This adaptability allowed it to inhabit a wide range of ecosystems during the late Cretaceous period. It likely had specialized salt excreting glands that helped it maintain a balance of salt and water in its body a crucial feature for crocodiles that spent time in saltwater environments. Furthermore, its armor-like scaly skin offered protection against potential threats and acted as camouflage in its aquatic habitat. These tough scales made it more difficult for potential prey to escape its clutches and for predators to harm it. Dana such as roamed the ancient waterways of what is now North America during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 75 to 82 million years ago. Its geographic range extended primarily across the southeastern United States, including areas that are now part of modern-day Alabama, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and possibly even parts of Texas and New Jersey. Fossil evidence, such as teeth and skull fragments, has been discovered in these regions, providing insight into its distribution. The presence of Danosuchus in such a wide range suggests that it was a highly adaptable and successful predator capable of thriving in various aquatic habitats. During the late Cretaceous period, the paleoenvironment of Denisuchus was vastly different from the landscapes we see today. The world was warmer, and sea levels were higher, leading to the formation of extensive shallow seas, coastal estuaries, and river systems. They took advantage of these diverse aquatic environments, making them a versatile apex predator. Denisuchus was well-suited to both freshwater and brackish water ecosystems. It likely inhabited large rivers, lakes, and coastal regions, making it a dominant predator in these environments. Its presence in these areas would have exposed it to a variety of potential prey, including dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures that came to the water's edge to drink. Dinosuchus was a carnivorous apex predator, and its feeding habits were characterized by opportunistic predation. It had a formidable set of adaptations that allowed it to be an effective hunter in its ancient ecosystem. One of its most notable feeding habits was its ability to crush bones. Its powerful jaws and robust, serrated teeth were well suited for crushing and tearing through the bones of its prey. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update.